Okay, in this business video, I just want to touch on a few topics. And it's going to be short and sweet. If you're starting a YouTube channel or you, even if you already have one started, and it seems like it's stuck in the mud and not going anywhere, and you are getting that information or thinking that because you see your subscribers just sitting there rather if you have 50 or 60 or 100 or 500 or whatever you may have it seems like don't matter what you do it just seems to just sit there and go nowhere well problem number one just because your subscribers are not growing does not mean your channel is not growing look at the views that you're getting on your channel that's more important because all in reality the way it works first thing you got to make a channel second thing you got to put up content that's good content three you got to let people know that it's there. And when you put up good content, you got to put up good titles, descriptions, tags, and all that. That's all included in putting up a new good content video. Then you got to share it on your show, uh, social media to let people know that it's there. Because if they don't know it's there, how are people going to find it? The next thing is you don't need to look at your subscribers. The subscribe number will take care of itself. Don't be a fool and go out there and buy subscribers. To, you think it's going to make your channel look better when it has numbers as subscribers. That's not real. Because the way YouTube works the things that they have put in place when they do a sweep on subscribers with all the accounts that are been inactive, dormant, uh, or put up there by a bot, not a human. It, it's been generated by a computer program. They, re they will remove them. So how do you think you feel if you got six, eight, a thousand subscribers by paying for them and then you wake up next day and you're back down to 50 subscribers when you had 850 and you get up next morning and you got 50. How are you going to feel? You're going to feel really foolish because all that money you spent got you zero and the people that you paid regardless of how much it is all that money that you paid to get them subscribers them people that got the money they're happy because they got your money you got zero don't be a fool and buy subscribers the subscribers will take care of themselves if you do all the others. <clears throat> Look at your view numbers. Because if your view numbers are going up, there's a high possibility that your subscribers are going to start going up. Because you've got to get content up first. Then you've got to get people to look at it. And you've got to have good content. If you get good content, and get people to look at it then they are probably going to subscribe eventually so subscribers basically comes last really because nobody's going to come to your channel and just subscribe without really viewing your content so you got to have good content you got to be consistent you got to find a time frame that you can actually upload consistently once a week twice a week three week three times a week 
every day vlogging that's what I do which is not easy believe me it might look easy a lot of people on YouTube that vlogs or used to vlog like Casey Neistat used to vlog every day he made it look so easy I knew it was not easy I used to run many blog websites and it was kind of it, it was hard to uh, put up something new every day but to make a video was even harder because you got to make the video look through the video edit the video put the video together upload it I mean you got so much to do it was a lot harder time-consuming too then you have people like uh, let's see what's his name Roman Atwood I do believe smile more he vlogs every day uh, occasionally he misses a day his dog and all that's having uh, medical problems which I can definitely understand that family comes first and your pets are family so if they miss a day or two don't hold it against them because you know they're putting their priorities in order family comes first I know plenty of times I supposed to had a vlog up before end of the day but some medical problem came up and I ended up at the hospital with my wife two three four o'clock in the morning then I had to sit up all rest of the night and put them videos together and I had them all put together edited uploaded and everything by nine o'clock the next morning sometimes you just have to sacrifice time to get it done thank goodness that I did not have any work that day because I had it all done uploaded scheduled to go public by nine o'clock 9 30 I was back in bed I think I got up about three o'clock that afternoon and I was right back at it picked up the camera on the tripod going back at it not easy I knew it wasn't going to be easy when I started when I dedicated myself to doing a vlog every day and now here I am going to do a live show every day too and a podcast for iTunes and Google and heating and air videos which that's going to be the easiest part out of all of it is the heating and air videos because all I got to do is take the camera video what I'm going to video the job then I just need to ch uh, cut out sections that's it that's the only thing I have to edit I don't have to edit the sound or anything just sections I need to take out when I take them all out then put them all back together render them as one video <coughs> upload it title description tags and I don't have to schedule it no nothing because I'm just gonna put it up that day and only way I'm gonna schedule that would be if I have two videos and I edit both of them I'll put one up instantly and then I'll schedule the next one for the next day but right now that's not really happening just because the weather I'm not doing that much heating air it's a hit and miss <clears throat> it gets the bills paid so really when it's cool and wetty cold weather I really don't like getting out anyway it don't matter if I'm going to work or pleasure and it's not really a lot of pleasure when it's cold and wet or just cold and or just raining it's just not fun to go out so you'll see me doing a lot of extra things during the summertime because there's a lot of things we love going to and some of it you will have to see on other platforms not YouTube because there will be music playing and I don't want to get no copy strike or anything like that so there's other platforms that I will be putting that content of video up and uh, putting in the archive for you 
be able to go by and actually play that content. But that's uh, basically everything for the day. What's left of the day is only about two hours and six minutes. So that this is this is my business video for the day. And the point I'm trying to get across is to grow your channel, whether it's brand new or already established, don't be a fool to buy subs. Just do the hard work, be consistent, put up content that people will want to see. Don't try to cheat because it always comes and back, uh, bites you in the, in the rear. Believe me, it will. I've never brought subs or anything like that because I knew the consequences. It's not worth it. Yes, your channel probably will not grow real fast, but at least when it grows, you know you got it honestly. As many YouTubers will tell you that has already got their channel to grow, you ask them what is the most important thing to do to get your YouTube channel to grow. And just like Casey Neistat would say, and Roman Atwood would say, just keep uploading. Simple as that. And while you're doing that, and you got very low numbers, you know, double digit numbers, it gets frustrating, yes. But when you start seeing your subscribers to start to roll higher and higher, then it starts to see the benefits of being honest. I've seen people would upload 150 or 200 videos to get 75 subscribers. You imagine making 150 videos and you only get 75 subscribers from that? That can be aggravating. And I'm pushing to have the way I'm going now, I probably will have somewhere around, hmm, I would, I would say probably around 800 new videos put up on YouTube this year alone. Because I'm doing one every day, so that's 365. Three a week. If, well, that's 10 a week if you add them two together. So 10, that's 520 right there plus my live shows on two channels so that's going to be two that's 12 a week and however um however many heat and air videos i put up that's going to be probably at least 200 so with that together that's 825 videos for the year just on YouTube that's not including the content of my podcast uh, Periscope Ustream Bamboozer that's not including all that content that I'm putting up if I put it all on YouTube it'd probably be over a thousand for the year and thousand a year that means I would have to put up 2.73, almost three videos a day that would be equivalent to that. That's a lot of videos. Three videos a day. And you just, most people will be like up to, you know, up six until six or whatever, working days working hours of the day. So three videos in that period of time. 
every four hours put up a video. That's a lot of work. But I know I can do it, and I'm going to do it. But uh, that's all I want to really get across in this business video is don't do it the easy way. Don't take shortcuts. Don't buy subs. Don't buy views. Because YouTube system will just wipe them out. And you'll be right back where you were. And if you do it enough, which is a violation of YouTube, they can shut your YouTube channel down. Then you'd be flat zero from then on. You won't be able to grow because you won't have a channel. So do it the correct way. Be legit. Don't be a cheater. Because it will not pay off at the end. So hopefully this helps you and some insight of what not to do to get your YouTube channel to grow. Do it honestly. At first it will be frustrating, hair pulling. Uh, it, it, it can drive you nuts. Because it seems like don't matter what you do, you can change cameras, you can change the view, uh, the video intro, outro, and everything else. And it seems like nothing is changing. Well, it's not all necessary of your intros or anything like that. It's just it hadn't got traction yet. So just start crushing it. Be consistent. Let other people know about it on other social medias. Get them over there to see it and just watch that view time, the views you have on your channel. That will let you know if people actually are getting there. Because you've got to have views before you get subscribers. I'll see you on the next one.